Whew. So the bigger tires I put on my truck are costing me a lot of money. Um, I need to get, uh, maybe download a GPS app for my phone to see how fast my truck is actually going. I think it's reading at least 10 kilometers an hour faster than what the gauge reads because of the bigger tires. So I've been pulled over twice now for speeding and the speeds I said I was going was like absurdly faster than what I thought I was going. So I got uh, well over $500 in speeding fines right now because uh, of those tires. I usually try to, you know, try to push it a little bit. They say you can go 10 kilometers an hour faster and not get pulled over kind of thing. So I do the 10 plus the tire coefficient. So that's like 20 over, which equals massive speeding tickets. So I got to keep that in mind when I'm driving this thing. I keep forgetting. But anyways, that sucks. We got a doozy today. We got a large, it's like a big tent shop. It's like a big steel frame shop. It used to be tarped in at one point in time, but the tarp's long gone. So it's a 30 by 50 building, 15 foot high ceilings. That's the ceiling plus, plus the trusses. So it's a big old girl and it all just slides together with pockets. It all just doo -doo -doo, no bolts involved. So uh, yeah, we've got some janky setup and uh, you'll see, it's, it's, she's wacky. So I'm heading out to the farm now to carry on with that project. Um, yeah. Okay, so I downloaded some random GPS app and according to that one app, um, I'm only going four kilometers faster than what my gauge says. So I don't know, maybe I'm just a speedy speeder. Not working. No, it's not first. Tilt your forks ahead and back up. It's gonna back up. Lift up and back up. Yeah, my work. I got to back out of there, right? Eh? Oh.
Wow. Not bad. You did it, Haley. So it's too windy to put up tarps today, and while we're going to town, this tarp blew off, but oh wow, we got her tied down. Tomorrow's another day. We're getting there. All right, it's a beautiful day. This is the old shop. We got the uh, tarps up. This is the old skitter. I think there's plans to try to get that going this winter, maybe. So I think the front wall, I think we're just gonna plywood it in around the door frame. We might lower the header on top and build a wooden door, maybe a steel frame. So it'll be two swinging doors in the front. There'll be a door, a man door going right there. And then the back, we just gotta finish tarping that in. And then we're gonna put a big wood stove in the corner. And that'll probably be about it for the winter. Hopefully uh, the tarps hold up and uh, should be a good building that doesn't blow away. But it's a uh, 30 by 40 with a 15 foot high ceiling. It all just pins together. All just slides together. Pretty neat. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it holds together. See, we got screw anchors. Four on each end. One. Two, three, four on each end, and then we got anchors and these points that aren't hooked up yet. So in the end walls, they go from there to the top. The straps lock the ends together. Yeah, man, pretty exciting, pretty cool. See, the sun's in the way, but you see right there is a board going across the end of that tarp and then we got straps coming down from there. We just got them tied to the fence now. We gotta get five more screw anchors and put the screw anchors in the end. Doot, doot, doot. So this tarp's gonna come down. So the, they go from the board on the end of that tarp and they're gonna go right down to the screw anchor. So it's gonna be cinched right down. We ran boards across the bottom on both sides that those hoops go through. The tarps boarded down and that's that's screwed into the metal. Those these are hay bale tarps. They're tarps for uh, covering hay bales. They're guaranteed for three years or whatever, so hopefully it works out pretty decently. 
And here's the tarps that we use here. They're going to be 230 by 48 hay tarps. See, there we go. Three to five years of use for proper care. So the biggest killer is going to be if this starts flapping or if, like, you know, get a corner up through. So all the corners, we try to tape them and sand them down and the top edges. The top edges, we took cedar boards and took a router and rounded the edge of the board. And, put, and then the first tarp comes up to there. Along there, and then we ratchet strapped it. Oop, so we got ratchet straps all along holding the first tarp tight. And we, we just wrapped tape around all the ratchets so they wouldn't wear through. So the first tarp laps to there. And the second tarp comes up this way. And it laps to there. And that's where the board goes across and the straps go down. Anyways, I got to head into town today, maybe see about getting a haircut and taking care of some business. So that'll be all for today, guys. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. We've got lots going on. Take care. Oh, yeah.